from software. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Verifying the target, 1,300 feet below. I love it. They couldn't make it sound like he was actually going by and falling away, so he had to go, Let's party! With his voice. <laughs> Sneak into the face of success. <sighs> so much for sneaking in. They're already here. Like they love you so much. They're not gonna let you go. No problem. You guys are roast chicken. Great work, President. But you still have a delicious dessert coming. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, it seems like it might be a little too quiet for stream. Because I am streaming this at the moment for funsies. Okay, well, I kind of knew the story about this game going in. But like, it's a, it's a From Software game that was supposed to tackle American audiences, so it's really ridiculously over the top in its narrative, in its American elements. And then it never came out in America. Even though it's fully dubbed and fully in English, and never it only came out in Japan. And it's just... I can't believe it's a real video game. And here it is. Uh, I didn't know it was a From Software game is the issue, until it came out. I was like, oh wait, that game I heard about was a From Software game? Alright. They have a super strange history. Because they've made mech games for the longest time before Dark Souls, but specifically quality, excuse me. Maybe? This is probably a good port, because it's Devolver Digital. Or at least I would hope. But I gotta get that, uh... Invert on. There we go. It probably turned down... We want that terrible voice acting to pop. So let's turn everything else down a bit. Because I need, I need to hear the terrible voice acting. I need it in my soul. I need to be transported back to like Dynasty Warriors three days, I hope. Uh, I've had a long day, and I figured this is a good way to unwind. And it's also probably a nice tonal shift from Sinking City, which I just finished. Uh. By the end of the first quarter of the 21st century... By the end of the first oh. quarter of the 21st <laughs> century, freedom was dead in America. Beginning with a large-scale military coup d'etat that erupted in various cities throughout the nation, the rebels seized power in all the central institutions of government. The entire nation appeared to have fallen completely into the hands of the coup d'etat forces. However, one final hope in opposing the coup d'etat forces remain. This final hope being the U.S. president himself. Michael Wilson, the 47th president of the United States, 
equipped with a special mobile armored op suit developed in secret by the military, boldly waged his own personal war alone to take back America's freedom. We are the President of the United States, Andrew Wilson, uh, Michael Wilson, who's going to Get rage them to death. Get out my special op suit, Jody. It looks like a fancy party is about to start. This kind of party is a first for me. Mr. President? Okay, let's party! Welcome to the White House. Why would a mech use a pump action shotgun? Outside looks really scary, Mr. President. Oh. Mr. President, escape via the Eagle Star in the underground base. Now I'll open the entryway to the underground base. Please. You fucked me, game. You fucked me with your controls. The, the, it really takes us back to an era of video games where voice acting was bad in a way that seemed impossible, and yet it was on. Okay, I guess invert doesn't need to be on because it's already inverted, I guess. Jesus. Alright. Nope! What? Look inversion just doesn't do anything. Why? Alright, well, here we are. I'm currently mowing down the United States military. And I'm suddenly wondering if I might know why this didn't come out in the United States. <laughs> Hang on a minute. That'll teach you to be in the United States military. Can I just blow up the entire helicopter? That would really... Uh, yep, yes I can. That really shortens this whole process for me. It's just gonna keep spawning the not very strong enemies, apparently. There we go. Alright, when do I get my apple pie and my motorcycle? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. Enter the underground base using this oversized back door here. He, uh, instilled a lot of changes in his very short time as president. The enemy are just lowly foot soldiers. Even if they aim at you and fire, they're no match for your special heavy mobile armor. Yeah, no, I'm just slaughtering them for fun. What do you mean they have families? <laughs> He said it. He said, he said the sentence. But why does look inversion lie? The Eagle Star is beyond here. Get going before the enemy chases after you. Is this other thing actually a threat? Anything that stands in your way. Switching over your weapons depending on the situation is the main key to fighting. Try out the weapons in your backpack as you like. Try out the weapons in my backpack. Oh my god. I have a sniper rifle in my mech? Okay, so machine gun... Bazooka. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. 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 <laughs> So far, I can say as a U.S. citizen that this is 100% accurate to my daily life. Mr. President, there's an aircraft hangar beyond this passageway. Now let's hurry. We actually have to tone down how awesome being American is in movies so that people don't try to move here. Please wait a moment. Whoa, something quite dangerous awaits. But with missiles of that caliber, if you aim and fire, you should be able to easily shoot them down. Uh, gotta shoot their missiles out of the air. It, there's not even a pretense of accuracy. All of my weapons have a giant rectangle attack range. <laughs> Oh, where are they? Oh, shit. Hmm. 
It definitely feels like I'm playing EDF a little bit. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. The barrier has been opened. Air Force One's launch preparations will be complete soon. Well, looky here. More guests. Well, I guess they won't be voting for you next term. Because they'll be dead, right? Because yeah. they'll, they'll be, they'll be dead. <laughs> I'm a murderer. <laughs> Well, oh hi everybody, you're late to the party. The party. You ever consider that you might be the bad guys if you're attacking Air Force One and the president? That maybe, maybe you've made a mistake? Eh? I mean, you do apparently self-identify as the coup d'etat forces, so maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree here. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. How's that for a ticket? Let's check it. I don't even know what that means. A ticketless chicken? Is that a thing America? I mean, we say. Just another day at the Oval Office, huh, Mr. President? Welcome to Air Force One. No, Lincoln, you're reckless flying. He looks like Ape Lincoln from the from the moot from the Planet of the Apes movie. Well, they were ever invited, they're definitely Michael. They're definitely Michael. <laughs> Mr. President, it looks like this party is just getting started. Was she hired for her one-liners? <laughs> is that her job? <laughs> President points. <laughs> I earn president points. Like on my presidential gr like grading card. <laughs> president Michael Wilson's flight from the White House cemented Vice President Richard Hawke's hold on the country. With the Pentagon, Congress, and every other core institution of, the, of America firmly in his grasp, Hawk was free to thrust his depravity upon the country in the name of revolution. I don't like the phrase, thrust his depravity. <laughs> the last, the land of the free was free no more. But let me tell you the story of a man who stood against that tide, who believed in his own justice, even when it seemed the whole country had turned against him. DNN correspondent Peter McDonald apparently is who I'm, I am speaking as right now. Jody, update me as to the status of the nation. The Pentagon, the United Nations, and all central government institutions have fallen into the hands of the Vice President. Have they? Mr. President, believe in your own justice. I'm sure your father would have told you the same. Jody, how's my schedule look for today? You've got a conference and dinner party at the Japanese Embassy regarding wildlife protection. Oh yeah. Sorry, but I'll have to cancel that. I'm heading out to save America. Can you let them know I won't be able to make it? Yes, Mr. President. How polite. To my beloved fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your American justice and freedom supporter. First of all, what I would like to tell each and every one of you is this. 
Recent events were not a mere coup d'etat, but rather a revolution to correct the wrongs in the United States of America. To our regret, our nation is in a crisis situation. Since 2010, domestic terrorism problems have increased rapidly. Economic disputes originating from the exhaustion of fossil fuels and the sudden rise in unemployment due to the influx of large-scale immigration. Neither the current president nor the American government took actions to address these various problems. On the contrary, they have filled their own pockets adhering to terrorist cells. To correct this situation, Richard Hawk, Arizona insurrection hero and vice president of the old government and the U.S. military rose to the task at hand. Much like our ancestors did, based in a belief of winning freedom and based in the belief of an independent war and based in the belief in this great nation. However, to our regret, an evil to disobey this belief exists in the United States of America too. And here is that evil. This villainous terrorist who first appeared in Washington and began his unjust rampage goes by the alias Metal Wolf. His current whereabouts are unknown. While all of America will be under martial law until Metal Wolf is caught, please do not confuse the issues at hand. Without fail, the U.S. military elite forces with a combined strength of 1.5 million promise to smash this unforgivable evil to pieces. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your special remedy for all kinds of evil. Oh, the country's been taken over by a fascist that blames immigration and the pa and the previous president for all the country's problems. What a crazy hypothetical. <laughs> the coup d'etat army that occupies San Francisco still runs rampant and deprives 780,000 citizens of their freedom. Target areas that the enemy force uses as the base of their military activities are built around the town. Target areas where enemy forces are concentrated are dangerous, but you can weaken their morale by destroying enemy armies. Destroy all target areas, annihilate the enemy force, and make the liberation of San Francisco shine as a beacon of hope in your counteroffensive. This mission goes by the call name Metropolitan Recapture Operation from Cisco Sighted Road. I got thrown off by her just sitting there in silence. She was waiting for- was she waiting for the drums? I think she was. Metropolitan Recapture Operation from Cisco Ch- Sato. okay. Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. Well... Why would I- Why would a mech want a revolver? There's a scale issue that's confusing me here in the equip screen. All my categories. Oop. Yep, all I can pick is no weapon. I probably have everything equipped already. I would assume. Probably. Fund research and develop new weaponry. Using the government... What, what resources do I have, actually? I'm a little confused. Weapons that fire in a spread. Alright. Uh... Obviously the bazooka. Yes. All right. Manufacture bazookas. Required a rare metal. Insufficient money. No. I can't afford a super bazooka. But I want a super bazooka. Access additional menus. Change the background music.
No, just in general. That's- I'll play the normal music. I'm good. Let's save that hot progress. It was auto-saving anyway. Francisco, occupied by coup d'etat forces, will be the starting point of our counteroffensive. And here's the starting grid. Okay. That's quite a gentlemanly landing, sir, befitting only of a U.S. president. The gentleman in me goes off the clock at 5 p.m. And now I'm gonna... Take America back! <laughs> That's a... Uh... Annihilate the enemy army by destroying the target areas where the troops have amassed. Destroy all the target areas scattered throughout and take back the town. I feel like that's really presumptive to think that the, par the president would be done at 5 o'clock. I feel like if anyone has longer hours, he probably has to keep going beyond that point. Hello. You're all dead. You're dead and you're dead and you're dead. Everyone's dead. I'll take America back one brick at a time by completely separating these buildings from their structural integrity. This is a good plan. What what did I just do? That was cool. <sighs> Click left stick to do this. Mr. President POWs are being transported in that cage. Destroy the cage with light firearms and rescue the people inside. That's why I have a pistol. I was wondering. What kind of audio quality is that? Help! Help. Help. Some scientists were among the POWs you rescued. Run away. To develop new weapons for the military. Pew, pew, pew. This is a lot of pistol shots. He just can't quite hit the door frame, apparently. Way to go, Mr. President. Now the POW can be safely liberated. We did it. We saved the POWs. Now back to wanton destruction of the entire city. Hip hip hooray! Yay! Tee hee! The enemy forces have even captured San Francisco's cable cars. We can't let them get away with using the symbol of this great American city. <laughs> the Sonic Adventure 2 team came back and was just like, Have you heard about San Francisco? Never. <laughs> Only death. Mr. President, the target area has been destroyed. This has been a momentous first job. <laughs> the shot that doesn't blow it up, no reaction. Just take some health damage. Shot that does blow it up, flying through the air. Immediate mega physics. What other controls have I not learned yet? If this is a thing I can do. Antenna is the enemy's communications facility. From this facility, when communications are made, large numbers of reinforcements join the battle. It's really a nuisance, so destroy it first. Describing describing this, the lives of American soldiers as nuisances. Jesus. Oh, yeah, there we go. There it is. What's basically the coolest thing so far is the fact that you can do that dash and be shooting the whole time. Because that, that visually is incredible. It's just a really cool... That's, that's nice. I like that. Yep. Not gonna lie, though, I've not even found my health bar yet. I 
Oh, is the green part my health bar? I thought it was going down when I was dashing, so I thought that was my dash. But it was saying overheating. So can I keep dashing? Ah. Once the first meter depletes, it then starts draining your health. The time limit self-destruct device has been activated. Oh shit, that's not good. Just get a self-destruct, quick. Blow it up before it blows up. We've got to destruct it before it self-destructs. No, not the POW res- there was POW rescues. I have no idea what she's talking about. I was a little focused on everything besides that, I guess. There we go. That's the rare metal I need for my crafting, right? This must be the right way. I legit had no idea where I was going. Well, if it isn't the pride of the United States military, M1 Abrams. I never thought they would join the fight. You never thought they'd join the fight at killing the president who lives in who who is has a mech. Take it out. There we go. I've got my rockets. I don't need other weapons. Okay, oh, hey, there we go. Ah. Gotta get these controls down. Open up. Everyone stand away from the part that's being shot with bullets, please. There you go. I did it. Sorry about the other guys, I just didn't notice them. <laughs> so now they're dead, I guess. Are they dead? They're prisoners. Did I blow them up? Maybe I blew them up. Oh, I took out the entire uh, thing you call those. Uh, fire escape. Shotguns with a wide firing area or machine guns with a high rapid fire rate are effective here. Try out the weapons in your backpack as you like. I have never been on a fire escape before. They look dangerous. <laughs> I don't know what it is about them, they just seem kind of... a little dangerous. So I guess we're in Chinatown? Uh, which is apparently big. I've, I've been to Chinatown in San Francisco. I, I don't know if it's this big. Vermin, Pennsylvania, and Mesa. I wonder if I can locate this exact spot in... actual... San Francisco and see if it looks like anything like this or not, or if it's just noise and nonsense. Somehow, one thing is the road signs would not be in Chinese, I don't think, right? I think that the, I think the traffic signs are still in English in Chinatown in San Francisco, because it's still an American city. It's not like off-brand Willem Dafoe vice president fascist man is Chinese, so he didn't change that. <laughs> these these businesses have zero interest. Oh no, I've run out of ammo. These businesses have zero interest in courting any amount. Oh god, the sniper rifle's awkward. It requires its own ammo, basically. Or not a, not its own ammo. I mean, like it. Uh, it requires you to, like, fully commit to using the sniper rifle, apparently. Alright. Get it, get it. Oh, it's so much more hard difficult to blow things up without a rocket launcher. Who could have guessed? Just soak up that entire shotgun shell, please. There we go. There we go. Where are you guys going? You running from the mech? Okay, yeah, I have to use exclusively the rocket launcher. The only weapon that matters. Clearly. Oh no, I blew up hostages that I didn't see. Man, I, I killed the hell out of hostages. I'm a great president. 
Look how look how presidential I am. I'm fantastic. See ya. There you go. Anyway, ciao. Fighting absolutely everyone seems a little unnecessary, unless I want to grind resources, perhaps. Seems like I'm supposed to go down here. Have usurped a building, making it a target. The building was opened two years ago on April 25th. It's named the Haokan Denkai China Building. Each season, it's decorated with gorgeous lights. Their Christmas tree tops them all. Over 800,000 people came to see it last December. For such a long time, I've been wondering how lovely that gorgeous building would look if it were destroyed. Damn. She might have a fixation. The morale of the troops is rising due to the HQ installations. Destroy the HQ facilities first and eradicate their will to fight. I don't think I like the sniper rifle. <laughs> this might come as a crazy surprise. I'm not crazy about the sniper rifle. Anyway. I like that she's like, wow, look at this beautiful building. It's covered in these crazy awesome lights. And as she's, sp as she's speaking, every square inch of the screen is labeled as a target. Kill all game, kill all environment and all building. It must be done. Oh yeah, there it goes. There's chunks of it falling off now. Yes. I'm gonna run out of resources trying to destroy this entire thing, though. It's a bit of a commitment, isn't it? Is this, uh, more ammo? Uh, shield unit. Hello, sir. There you go. Nice night, isn't it? Can I- Oh, yeah, I have a jump. Yes, I do. When do I get a sword? <laughs> I would like a sword for my mech, please. No reason. It's just kind of a natural conclusion, isn't it? Offensive augment, what does that mean? Like, what did I get it from? I'm not sure. Hey there. Are you guys an ammo drop or something? Like, is that your purpose in life? Come by and give me ammo? There we go, there goes the guns that were attached to that guy. Destroying the area? It looks like you're gonna receive a lovely present. I'm starting to think that Oh god. That's a laser. I feel like her distressing comments say worrying things about my uh, constituency. All right, I've done no damage to it so far. Let's see if I can do anything about that. There we go. Oops. Forgot to confirm my weapon switch. There we go. Get him, get him. He's a durable one, isn't he? Dorsey. I bet the weak spot's back here. Oh, the giant rail gun is turning towards me. That's probably bad. No, stop stop aiming at me. <gasps> I can air dash. Ow. Ow, pain. I'm actually running out of ammo for every weapon. This is a problem. This tank is basically just a solid block of iron that I'm trying to pretend is an enemy. Oh, hello, other tiny baby tank. Would you like to be shotgun 300 times in the face? Oh, no reason. Ow. 
I'm going to die. Is that what you want? That's not very nice. Okay, I'm not doing any damage. Why is the sh rocket launcher the only gun that matters in this entire game? Okay, don't. Yep, don't use that weapon. The fuselage damage rate is above 50%. Enough playing around. How about bringing it up a notch? Yeah, I'd love to. Where's my guns? I ran out of guns. Why can't I find more guns? I'm the president of the United States of America. Uh oh. Hmm. All right, let's go exploring. This is a target after all. Oh, it's covered in guns. Of course, because of course it is. Haven't you heard? The entire country has guns. That's all we have. Guns and more guns. He doesn't seem to be following me. Yes, I was hoping for ammo. The better to kill you with. We, le we legit need to research better weapons. This is a problem. Can I just go inside? Because that would really defeat the purpose of basically everything about this. It'd be kind of incredible. Yeah, I'm, uh... Oh, he just fell. I'm getting a little confused about the damage values in this game. Am I... Did they... Do I have an ability of some kind that they're not telling me about? Oh, God. Yeah, standing still makes me take a lot of damage. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with a sniper rifle besides lose. All right, we'll try that. Jump and Y. Hopefully that's like some sort of crazy mega dash or something. Cause like, yeah, like I, I feel like they just forgot to tell me how to play the game or something. Cause like these guns are useless. It's like, I, they can't intend me to play it with this way, right? Nobody could think that, oh, that's fun. So they must've just forgotten how to, forgotten to tell me how to play, like what, what the cool trick is. Oh, does that do any damage? Hey, that's something. That's way better than- that's way better than shooting it. There we go. That's massive compared to the garbage guns I was using. I have a hundred rockets this time. Ow. You're doomed. That is the most confusing threat I've ever heard, by the way. Make junk food out of him, Mr. President! Excuse me? <laughs> Did I hire a confusing child as my secretary? <laughs> or whatever you are? I can't- I don't even know what mission parameter or what, what job description would entail what you are. Yeah, this boss is gonna be over in like a minute as opposed to last time. Nope, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Time, Mr. There we go. Whoa! What a perfect display of your talents, Mr. President! Not really, Jody. Nothing to get excited about. I just stomped on him 17,000 times in a row until he stopped moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys, go away. Yep.
So, pro tip to play this game. Step one, never run out of grenades, ever, for your grenade launcher. Step two, uh, jump and hit Y. It's the only attack that matters. And it's like a secret. <laughs> there we go. Heart of America. All I can think of is the film cow skit, Heart of, uh, it's like Professor Heart of America or whatever it was called. Die, tank. Tank cannot defeat a foot. It's, it's as you might imagine, dive kicking buildings is a little hard to land. Dead. The enemy forces in San Francisco have been annihilated. Nice work, Mr. President. Sure. All in a day's work, huh, Mr. President? It's beautiful. Nope, we've only just begun. All of San Francisco is on fire. The fight will continue. As long as the America inside my heart is still alive. No survivors. 